Well, there. I think you. Uh, I think you now know as much country as I do. Wow! I've got a big thing either on the lens or on. Uh oh. A big thing on the lens or a big thing on the uh, viewing screen. I don't know. But hi, it's the great Vanzini. I'm back. I'm going to show another quick show and tell of another yet another guitar, and um, it's another Tele with humbuckers. And do observe the switching system. We have the switcher in the rear, in the back. Let's see if I can do this without tearing it up. Switcher in the back. It's a three-way switch. And the controls are up here, tone and volume. And uh, 25 and a half inch scale. Um, I don't know if I can show this or not. If you can see the wear on the neck. I haven't, I played it. It's It was one of my main players for years and um, it, um, so it's showing wear on the fretboard, but it's not really wear as much as the stain is coming off. I mean, there's really no fret wear. It's just that rosewood was stained very dark. And it's interesting that it's coming off down on the, down towards the nut. And it's not like I strum chords down here that much. I do mostly, you know, I do a lot more work up here than I do down there. So that it's coming off, I don't know. This is an interesting guitar and I don't remember the circumstance of where I bought it or, or what it was. It was made in Mexico. It's a special edition. They put out some special editions off and on. And I don't recall the circumstances of this particular one. There were a couple guitars where dealers, if they sold so many Fenders in a year, then had the ability to design their own Fender, uh, made in Mexico Fender. And they would, um, and I have one of those strats and I have a second one, this may be it where the store actually designed uh, what they wanted on it and they did you know the uh, controls that way with humbuckers but I'm not absolutely sure I don't know but I do have two of those one of them's a Strat that's a 1950 Strat and at the time Fender didn't offer that in any of the made in Mexico uh, Fender guitars so I was at the dealer and he said well these are ones we get to order one per year because we sell X mini guitars. I think it was related to sales, as I recall. But anyway, so they designed the 1950s. They wanted that with uh, in surf green, you know, whatever they call their surf green version. Uh, and uh, the light green with a white pick guard and three. I'll show that one later. But that was one, at that time, a one off because they didn't, you couldn't buy it. You couldn't, it wasn't available um, as a made in Mexico guitar. And I remember buying another one that I think was a Tele, and this might be it, because I can't think of what other Tele it would be, and I can't think of, uh, I'll, have to, I'll have to look at the strats to find out. But it's a great player, it really, uh, I've abused it, I haven't abused it, I've just neglected it. And it's like after playing a while, the uh, saddles actually were a little bit loose and kind of went down, and I think the neck... The neck has relief. I think it could use a pinch more, like an eighth turn more. But um, it was buzzing out when I pulled it out, and I haven't played it in ages, so. It sounds great. It plays great. And... Uh, Well, what do we want to do? I've just got it on a clean channel. That's the neck pickup, middle position. You can hear that it mutes it down. And in the neck position. Wow, that's interesting. I wonder if something's come goofy in there. There's no difference between the uh, middle position and the neck position at all. Maybe a little more. It's making the Boss E band vibrate <laughs> a little more, buzz a little more. Uh. I don't play these uh, in the in the middle, or that these these almost always get played in.
I'm, uh, I'm really rusty with my country chops, all five of them. I think now that I've shown you all that, that now you know as much country as I do. Um, um, yeah, so the neck actually shows like the stain is coming off. It's, 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 it's kind of odd. It's in really mint condition otherwise. There's not, there's not even any buckle problems here. So I, must, I always usually when I play it, to make sure I don't, I just take my belt buckle and move it off to the side so it doesn't uh, it looks weird because I always forget to put it back and then I'm walking through a mall or something and and uh, there's my belt buckle off to one side or the other but uh, it's just a uh, regular Fender Tele well it's not a regular one it's humbuckers so that's that's uh, I, I, I was going through all of them and it was really interesting to me that I have I think I have two tellies that are standard traditional tellies with uh, single coil pickups and the normal controls. Everything else is something weird. And I felt I thought that was interesting because I'm really uh I love very traditional tellies. So and you saw the sunburst one yesterday, that was one of them. And I think I have an American Yeah, I think I need to do a little setup on this. Maybe give the neck just a pinch more relief. I should measure it. Um, take a look at the saddles, but you know, after all these years, just sitting in a case, darn thing was in tune pretty good. So that's it for this telly. I'm gonna whack the heck out of this. This will this will be one I guarantee you. It will be under 10 minutes, okay? Because I'm gonna get that really bad music edited out at the beginning. So. Uh, and uh, I got another telly coming up and then I'm also going to do uh, one more fun with chords. Just, I think it's good to think about chords and how they work.